Hello everybody. What embedding here we are going to learn? Let's have a look at Wikipedia. This is what Wikipedia talks about this. You can go through it and try to understand. If I have to tell you in absolute layman term what word embed then it would be nothing but representation of text in the form of numbers so that it could be simple for machine to understand and process it all right this is it so let's say you have been given this sentence you will do some sort of processing pre-processing and then you put them in the form of vectors like this right so if you see over here it has extracted all the features from the supplied data and then it is doing the you know representation of the text in form of number so this is this could be uh this could be an example of one hot encoding similar thing happens in bag of words also but numbers gets repeated in bag of words uh i mean it will be more than one if the particular word gets repeated into the sentence right so this is it this is word embedding in a nutshell now there are multiple ways of word embedding for example bag of words tfidf word vague glove and bird out of this bag of word and tfidf we have already uh, covered right link is given in the description section you can just check that out however well, i'll just try to give a brief about it so in bag of word what we do is this is the sentence which i have been supplied for example you do some sort of pre-processing and then it extracts the list of features and prepares you know vocabulary list then it will put the sentences and it do it will do the encoding something like this wherever it finds a matching word in the given sentence it will say one wherever it doesn't finds it says zero what i just explained for example if a word is repeated in a given sentence for example let's say best is repeated in this particular sentence then instead of one it will be two if it is repeated three times it will be three and so on so this is how bag of word works in tfidf what happens is this is the supplied data this is the supplied data which you would have and then it will calculate the inverse document frequency now if you want to understand what inverse document frequency is i highly recommend and then the next thing which we need to do is find the term frequency and after finding the term frequency the last thing which we're gonna do is multiply both of them and get the tfidf value basis on that we further we can do the prediction or we can build the predictive model okay now the main thing which we're gonna cover in this video today is what to wake what word to wake does exactly this is like i said this is also one of the word embedding uh, technique and which is very important simple and important thing right so for example let's let's try to understand word to wake with the help of an example let's say you haven't given these two sentences when you make word to wake what it does is it creates using the supply data it creates list of vocabulary and it does some sort of a scoring now you must be getting how does it do, does the scoring right how did it get to know that this 0 0.01 is for she 0 0.02 is looks and negative 0 0.05 is awesome and so on right so okay before i proceed further let me tell you these scores given over here are complete completely synthetic this is not the real score which word to wake has generated just for the understanding i have given it over here so now coming back to the point how it does the scoring so to make you understand this concept let me tell you that word to wake is based on two i can say sub models right which is nothing but cbow plus skip gram right cbow is nothing but the continuous bag of words and skip gram these two techniques are at the core of word to wake what these two techniques are we will see in upcoming videos in detail over here let's understand how this two works so both of these two technique works on cosine similarity basis on the cosine both of these two technique use cosine similarity and does this kind of scoring now what cosine similarity is we are not going to get into the mathematics in this video at least in upcoming videos if you are interested i will cover that now let's understand the scoring in non-mathematical way for example here you have a document which is about 
a story of a family and this is let's say this is a piece of information uh, you know fetched from this document just to show you right nothing else right this is just to take a reference so let's say uh, the whole document is supplied to what to wake model for the training so what it will do is it fetches the uh, it fetches the document and prepares a list of vocabulary right prepares a vocabulary list right and then inside this it will create invisible set of properties or maybe you can do say features also this is something which you want to be able to see and basis on this it will do the scoring for example relative relative gender skill and animal these are the inbuilt properties of these words right you can say or the feature of these words so wherever it matches to the word it will produce the it, it will produce some sort of you know scoring and it also like i said it works on cbow which is nothing but continuous bag of words continuous bag of words takes the input and oh, you know take multiple input and predicts one output right and skip gram works in the other way right so let's come back to the point and over here you see husband yes it's a relative i mean husband is a relation so here what you get is value one similarly husband has a gender which is male in nature so male we are representing through minus one similarly we have the score for each of these words now what you see over here is none of the word has a value of zero the way we used to have in pack of words so that's the other advantage now this is how you can um, i mean this is how it does the scoring now what is the advantage of having this okay what is the advantage of having this we will see that first advantage is uh, which i just covered like in the bag of words we saw that wherever it doesn't match to a word it produces zero for that and that's how when you keep on adding the sentences it will keep on adding another features and it will keep on keep on producing zero wherever it doesn't find a match right which in which results in a sparse matrix that's called the sparse matrix what is the other advantage of it that's that's really interesting thing right let's say here you take the uh, word husband and it, uh, it i mean you made a vector of it right and here you take this vector you subtract the vector for male and you add the vector for female this will result you this vector which is equivalent to almost equivalent to the vector which we have for wife so what you see over here whatever result you see over here that is equivalent to this so this is also an interesting thing after training this model if you take the vector for husband and subtract male and add female means husband minus male plus female equals to wife right isn't it interesting yeah i think yes it is interesting let me know in the comment this is it in this video in this next video we will see how can we build this thing in python thank you very much for watching this wish you good luck